the lights out on the Cadillac ATSV pace car as we are getting ready to go with the second round of the Sprint X Championship for the Pirelli World Challenge. And we are green. And boy, I'll tell you, Colin got a nice jump. But look at Guy Cosmo down to the inside, Cal. Couldn't quite make that work. He could not. I think uh, Kuno Whitmer was looking to get the jump, and Colin just took off, surprised him a little bit. Yeah, getting a report here that we're waiting for penalties for that number 46. The car did not start on the pre grid, therefore, they were requiring him to go to the back of the field. We'll see if they're going to have to do a drive through penalty or not. There's a look at the car that had a just a superb run in the GTS category, the 07 Racers Group Aston Martin Racing entry that uh, started for this one by Chris Wilson, finished yesterday. Look at this. Kuno Whitmer is caught Colin Brown. Game on. All right, and we're getting a report that uh, there is indeed a drive through coming. All right, here it is. Does he make the call to the pits? He does. So he is in. He will do that drive through, take that penalty, then wheel it as hard as he can. But boy, will this load some pressure onto the shoulders of one Mike Mills. And uh, now Kuno right back out again. And it looks as though, as we're watching here, he's going to be coming out just in front, did everything he could to stay in front of Jorge De La Torre. And now into the pits comes the 45. Let's go down to Jeff. That's right, Chris Buffet pops the door open. The seat belts are coming off right behind me. Jorge De La Torre comes in in his Austin Martin V12 as Lars Villajon going to come in to that car. So a lot of action starting here on pit lane. Here into the pits comes your leader, Colin Brown, in the Spider Mobile One Thermo Club Porsche. And we'll be set to turn over to his co-driver over the wall, Brent Holden. Yeah, right here, the team is just checking air pressures. They're dropping them down a little bit. Just got those temperatures high with these pros out there pushing these cars to the limit. Brent Holden trying to get the belt set up for them. Colin Braun, the rules in Sprint X, only the exiting driver is allowed to assist the driver going in. So only three crew members over the wall. They're just checking this Porsche 911 GT3 are out, get the seat set, and they'll get back underway. Leader is in. The new leader is in. Cosmo hits pit lane. Digging himself out of a big hole. It's been a brilliant stint by Kuna Whitmer after that penalty. Coming right at Jeff Lepper. Well, Kuna Whitmer comes into his pit space. He came in here like a monster. Got on the brake, stopped the car, got the belts out already. You want to talk about close, a 90-second pit delta yesterday. This Mills Racing BMW was 90.4 seconds between the time he beacons. That's how you win a race. Well, the margin down to 2.3 seconds as Holden turned to 120.7. Mills turning a 119.5. And I think all Michael Mills needs to do is just be patient. He's got a little bit more pace than Holden at the moment, so don't push it too hard. And uh, well, that's strange. He just lets him go. I wonder if he's got an issue. I mean, you're not just going to give up the lead yeah, and move seriously. out of the way. I've got a feeling there's a problem with the GMG machine. And we are into the closing laps of the second round of the debut weekend of Sprint X. And uh, now we continue to watch the progress of one Lars Filgen in the number four. Uh-oh. Oh, he's in pit line. He's slowing. Slowing. Fuel. Had that Fuel? gearbox actuator issue yesterday, oh, or does boy. he... Uh, I mean, this has been a long green flag run, 60 minutes with the pit stop. Could it be fuel? And for Mike Mills, this weekend it's been good things have happened, even with a drive through penalty and the like. The team execution has been superb, and there's the celebration on the wall. A sweep of the opening weekend of Sprint X competition in the GT class for Mills Racing. And there, of course, your winner in the GTS category for the second day in a row. A sweep again for the racers group and Aston Martin Racing North America.